In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the ruled command. So let's start. The command is in more and we have to just go to the mesh. Currently, we are in the tab of surface, then just go to more. Then here we have the command of ruled. Now, as per the definition, it is going to create a body between two sections where the ruled shape is a linear transition between these sections. Now, the very first need from the definition comes, we want two sections. It is clearly mentioned in the definition that it needs two sections. Along with that, it is going to offer the user a linear transition between those two sections. We cannot offer any other transition. Now, the demonstration is regarding the linear transition, that what is the meaning of linear transition. Now, let's come to the graphics window. Here we have two sections which is required by the command. So I'm just going to start the command here. Here the very first option in the dialog box is regarding the section 1. Then we have the section 2 and then we have alignment options. Now let's come to the section 1. Here this is going to be the section 1 and we are going to click here. Now for the selection of the section 2 I'm going to press MB3 along with that I'm going to select this one and while selecting the second curve or second section make sure that the selection is going to be in the same direction it should not be from here it should be from here okay and the arrow direction should be same also in the upper direction if I do this so you can see this will give the error that output is self intersecting so make sure the arrow directions should be in same direction then we have the alignment here we have the first alignment as parameter and then we have the arc length so these are going to depend on the isoparametric curves at equal arc length so this is not going to affect the change on this shape so I'm just going to select the by points. In the case of by points, I can drag the points like this so that there would be a sharp transition here. If I just click on show results, so you can see here comes the sharpness. So we try to make these smooth surfaces while using these kinds of commands. And uh, this is regarding the distance that it is going to divide those isoparametric curves along each section. Basically, these are related to the isoparametric curves, uh, parameter, arc length, distance, and angle also. So these are related to the isoparametric curves. So these are something which you can practice. I'll let you know what are isoparametric curves in the next video. So let's come to the parameter only. So it would have the distribution like this and just click on OK. So this is the basic thing regarding the ruled surface and the linear transition. So I'm just going to color this because we are going to have a deep dive into the ruled surface now. So I'm just going to hide it now, just for now and going to name it. We name it as simple or basic. So this is going to be the basic. To rename, you just have to click on this and press F2 on the keyboard. Now press home. Now I'm just going to have some feature groups like this one. So the very first question from the viewers, just post the video when I just complete the question and comment below. If I do apply the rule surface between this semicircle and this semicircle, what will happen type yes or no if you are sure that rule surface is going to apply between this circle the below one and this one and then top one and this one so this is the very first question type yes or no if you believe that rule surface is going to be get applied type yes otherwise no okay so let's check now i hope you have commented below so this is going to be the curve one and this is going to be the curve two, this one. Now you can see this has applied. Now why so? If I ask you why so? Because the definition says linear transition. 
now many of us gets confused that what is the meaning of linear we always believe that it is a straight line that means the planes are going to be parallel to each other but that is not the case the plane may be parallel or perpendicular still the ruled surface is going to have the linear transition linear transition here means it is going to connect the end points of those sections in a straight line i will let you know more about at the end of video so that you could have the clear vision regarding the ruled surface okay so i'm just going to have the apply here and then going to select this one and then this one now you can see this has also applied because there is a linear switch between these two sections now comes the tricky part if i just hide them and let's hide this also this one also now here comes the tricky part i have drawn this on the right plane and this is on the front plane now my question is whether the ruled surface is going to get applied here or not type yes in the comment box if you believe that the ruled surface is going to get applied type no if you believe that the ruled surface is not going to get applied so I hope you have commented. Now let's check. Just go to the ruled surface and here I'm just going to click here and then here. Now you can see this has been applied. Why so? Because there is a linear transition. That means a straight line. So this is what the definition means. It is not restricted to the basic one like this. Because many of the NX users say that these should be in a single line. That means in a straight line. And the section should not be deviated. Section could be deviated like I have deviated it from the parallel plane to the perpendicular plane. And still the ruled surface is performing its function. The only case is that this surface might have some issues like the sharpness or the sharp turns but it is all up to the requirement that whether we need some sharp turns or not however ruled surface is going to get applied between the two perpendicular sections also okay so this is how the ruled surface work in a linear manner now let's have a deep dive so for the tricky part but before that i just want to show you something like uh, if I just go to through curves because through curves also performs the same function and with this as G0 now if I just click on this and then click on this so you can see through curve is also generating the surfaces while using the two sections so the user might get confused that where to use the rule and when to use the through curve now let's understand about this so I'm just going to hide them Now we have a feature group here, press home and here comes the feature group. Now we have the ruled once again, just go to ruled, this one and this one. Now you can see this is all I can do with the ruled command. Here we have linear transition, that means it, the transition is moving in the linear way, in the straight line way, okay. Now if I just click on OK and this is going to be the ruled surface, I'm just going to color this with this color. Now comes the through curves. So here I'm just going to have the tendency between those two places. So the very first section is going to be this, second section is going to be this. And here this is going to be the first section and this is going to be the last section's tendency. Now click on OK. Now I'm just going to change the color to the brown color and we are done here. Now the very first thing is that this is the rule surface. I'm just going to hide this. So whenever you need the tangency or more control on the surface, you are going to use the through curves. If you are having the generation of surface, which is going to be tangent between other surfaces. And you are going to use the rule surface if you want to have the linear 
motion or the linear transition of the two sections which has been given in the graphics method. Now, here is some more little advancement regarding the rule surface. So, for that I am just going to hide this and let's come to this section. I am just going to hide all the datums. For that I am just pressing the control plus W and uh, I am just going to hide all the datums. Now, here comes the tricky part or the nice part which I personally like and mostly use for the proper generation of the surface. Okay. Now, how we can achieve that? Just go to the rule surface and here this is going to be the first section. This is going to be the second section. Now, just let me deselect this and I'm just going to have the connected curves here. So, this is going to be the second section. Now, I'm just going to have the settings and here I'm just going to select the sheet because we are working on surface. Now, you can see that the orientation is not proper. These lines are going in this way, this is going in this way, and this is going in this way. Now, how to have the proper alignment of the surface in just one single click. So, for that, just go to the alignment and here you have to just go to the angle and here it will ask for the vector and the point. Now, which vector do we have to select? We have to select the vector in which the surface is getting generated. That means this vector which is along Y, okay? So, be very careful while selecting the vector. Choose that vector that is going to join these sections in the linear way, okay? So, in the other words, you can also say it like that. We are going to select the vector which is going to be perpendicular to the both sections. So, this is how we can simplify the understanding of choosing the vector. So, I am just going to select the y-axis and here I am just going to select the point. So, for the selection of point, it should lie on that particular line. So, imagine a line which is going to get passed in this way and I am just going to select this point. Now, if I just click on show results, so you can see this has been properly defined and the section has been generated in a very beautiful manner or in the aesthetics way. Basically, we use the aesthetic word in the generation of surfaces which intensifies how the surface is smooth and seems very good in quality along with that how the reflection is taking place. If I just go to the analysis and go to reflections and click on this. Now you can see there is no dip. It is showing the regular curves while having the reflection. This is said to be as the zebra curves for just having the analysis while getting some reflection from the surface. So, this is how we can use the ruled command. So, let's have a quick recap. First, we have started with the basic. Then, we have understood about the linear term. That what is the meaning of linear in the case of root surface. Then, how we can generate the surface using the through curves. What is the difference between the ruled and the through curves. That how they are going to be different from each other. How the ruled and through curves have the control on the surface generated. Then, at last, we have learned about the angle in the case of alignment. So, that completes the entire package of the ruled surface. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have learned something new from this video, please do hit a like, share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you so much.